I find that the Psalms often can articulate for me what I didn't even know that I was feeling. You know, it's like I'm as I'm praying with the Psalms, I'm like that. That is exactly what I'm experiencing right now. And I didn't even have the words for it. And so it's like I don't have the the strength or the eloquence or the whatever to offer this prayer to the Lord. Um, but David or whoever the psalmist is like they do. He already did it for yeah, me. Yeah. And and like I can I can use those words as my own because because the the psalms are like so descriptive of just humanity. Um, and yeah. Christ did that on the cross. I mean, yeah. he prayed Psalm 22 like I you know, my, my wife God. abandoned me. Like yeah. that that's Psalm 22. It, so there there's something about this is why we ch teach children to memorize prayers because I think in those moments we're not gonna be eloquent. We're not gonna think up some deep theological thing. We're gonna pray the Our Father, which we've had memorized for our entire life. We're gonna pray a Psalm. I want a Father Joel Barstad, who you know, he would always teach his students to memorize Psalms. He's like, memorize Psalms, have at least one, if not 10 mm. air of these arrows in your quiver mm. so that you can pull them out when, when you're not eloquent, when, you're, when your brain is not going to the right places and you can persevere through prayer when the prayer means nothing, but you're saying the words. And, and that's why God gave us the gift of time because sometimes I'm gonna be good, sometimes I'm not. But if, if I can persevere by saying words somebody else wrote, like the Jesus prayer, like the Our Father, like one of the Psalms, um, especially one that, that begins rough and ends happy. That That's actually a really nice thing to do. And yet, I love the fact, I think it's what, Psalm 88 um, is the one that ends, my only companion is darkness. You know, uh, <laughs> yeah, you know the, we, would, yeah. we, would call it, we would call it 87. Well, yeah, the oh, uh, oh, Septuagint okay. 87. Um, and the, uh, and, so when we when we pray these like have have both those in your quiver because I think there are people that are that are watching this or listening to this that are gonna say, I've been in this for ten years mm -hmm. or for or for thirty eight years, like the man by the poolside, right? I've been I've been paralyzed for thirty eight years. Like 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 how can you it's just it's not helpful to say persevere through memorized prayer. And I think that's where Psalm eighty eight or eighty seven mm -hmm. is, is is so beautiful because you say, Yeah, one of the Psalms ends, memorize that psalm. And, and and actually understand that that what I believe and just listen to me say this, you are stronger because you've persevered for ten years. Like that th there there's God has given you a strength. I say this about like like homosexuality. Like I can't imagine feeling that that I cannot participate in the physical and mental and you know act of love of of somebody. I, I chose celibacy. I, I said yes to it. Um, you you did not. So I truly believe that God created you and empowers you with a certain strength to endure through this for, for, for longer than most people can. And I know that may not be helpful to hear. Most people when I say in their struggles, thank you for being strong, they just like growl at me. You know, I'm not I'm not strong right now, Father, right? <laughs> and it's like, I, I, think I, I know, but at you. From, from the outside, <laughs> I'm saying you are strong and I see it. You may not feel it right now, but yeah. you are strong yeah. because you can persevere. Can you tell the story of your dad when you were talking about the Our Father? Um, yeah, that's a really beautiful story. So my, my dad, he he uh, has Agent Orange from Vietnam, and it, it's affecting his lungs. What's it called? Agent Orange. So he was affected by this this chemical that they would drop um, <laughs> to to kill all foliage, to kill all greenery near the bases in Vietnam and the Philippines, um, so they could see the enemy coming. But they told them that it was it was not going to affect their health, and now it, it's killing my dad. So so um, his pretty much so my dad he has congestive heart failure because the Agent Orange affected his lungs. Mm -hmm. And so when his brain says breathe, his lungs aren't healthy enough to breathe. So there, he's breathing at a different time his brain says to breathe, and that's affecting his heart because oh, of the stress him. of his yeah. body not agreeing. So he has congestive heart failure. So when he had his first heart attack, he was in the front yard doing something, had a heart attack, fell to the ground, uh, went inside, and and had my mom call 911, and he was laying on his bed. And, um, and so when he had the surgery, when he came out of the surgery, he said to me, he said, Father, like, I was so ineloquent. Like, I thought I was dying. And I always thought my whole life, like, as I'm dying, I'm going to call upon our Lord mm. and I'm going to have these eloquent thoughts and just have like, what are my last will and testament I say to the world? What's the last words my wife hears as I'm dying on the bed? He says, all I could say was the Our Father over and over and over again. And it was like, that and is... it was, and I said, Dad, that's what Jesus did. He, he <laughs> said the psalm was he was not, he said memorized prayer on the cross. You said memorized prayer as you thought you were dying. Like, I want that. 
right? I want that. I, I want to, as I'm dying, I have the Our Father on my lips. What, what a, and my wife to be in the room, you know, <laughs> not not me, of course, but like that, that, that's a good death. <laughs> and I said, you you were doing the right thing. So do <laughs> not feel any shame. The devil's not put in your mind about you not being able to be eloquent. It was. Hey, thank you so much for watching. Before you go, do us a favor, leave a comment, let us know what you thought of the video, like, and subscribe.